Yeah, I would dare say is one of the stronger storms of 2018, ranking up there with Monghu and Drami near its peak. It's not just the eye or this uh, very spherical uh, circulation, that buzzsaw shape, but also look at the convection here, those darker colors really just continuing to flare up, and that's just indicating this very potent, robust storm system moving over a favorable area for continued intensification in the Western Pacific. And I wouldn't be surprised if by the time you're probably watching this video this is a super typhoon uh winds at this time 125 but it is expected to continue to intensify up to 135 gusting to 165 knots the good news over the open ocean north of yap that's about the closest landmass here as it tracks off there towards the northwest but for our friends across the southern japanese islands by the time this reaches you it is still not going to be a picnic we're still expecting a fairly potent storm system it tracks along the southwestern periphery of the west pack high here so that's going to push it off there towards the northwest now you got a little bit of troughing kind of dipping down right there that is really going to be playing the biggest role on if this is going to turn closer to okinawa or stay off there towards the west models kind of they're not as tight as we saw with trami for example this is the ecmwf model and actually takes our storm by friday in to Saturday over Miyako and Ishigaki and even clipping northern Taiwan before coming on shore uh, closer to Shanghai here. Meanwhile, by the time uh, Thursday night rolls around into Friday morning, the GFS actually pulling this storm closer to Okinawa, about halfway between Miyakojima and Okinawa Honto, putting you in typhoon strength winds. Compare that up with the HWRF. It actually keeps a little bit further towards the southwest, but a wider wind field. All in all, this all means that all of the southern Japanese islands, including, yes, those of you in Okinawa, yet again, I know you're still recovering from Trami. Watch a storm system because I'm not completely sold just yet of this one working its way further towards the south. But I think that it, the winds are not going to be lingering nearly as long and it shouldn't be nearly as strong across many of these areas. Because we're going to see it getting with our storm system uh, as it does near the southern Japanese islands. But right now, it's a beast. I want to keep an eye on this one all week. Stay safe out there, guys. And as always, thanks for watching.